A while back, I posted this scene of Euphoria, and I couldn't help but notice that half the comments were mentioning how terrifying Lori was. Today, I'm going to break down this scene and explain what makes Lori so incredibly manipulative and unsettling. When it comes to the visual aspect of the scene, there are many details present. Upon entering the house, the color grading takes on a green tone. This hasn't been present much within the season since the main color choice was warm tones like yellows and reds mostly. The last time Rue visited Lori's house, it was presented with warm tones as well. The only time green is used is in dangerous scenes. For example, the first time Rue goes to Lori's house when she's with Fez. This subtly hints at the fact that Rue is not safe in this moment. There's lots of symbolism within the scene. For example, the bird that is shown in the cage can represent entrapment, something Rue is about to go through. It kind of foreshadows that. Even the railing bars in the foreground of the shot emphasizes this concept. The next shot we see is a flickering lamp in the hallway. This could mean a multitude of things, but in my understanding personally, it would present the illusion of safety like a warm light with flowers below it isn't exactly a scary sight at first. However, upon further inspection, it flickers and starts to reveal itself, just like Lori does. After this, the camera pans to a locked door with scratching noises behind it, and this pretty much confirms that Lori is in fact kidnapping people and has entrapped at least one person inside her home. That kind of reveals her full intentions to us, as opposed to how she was presented before. Now I'm going to do a character breakdown, mostly of Lori, because like, if I were to do a character breakdown of Rue, it would take hours, honestly. But the first thing we hear Lori call Rue is Ruby. Hi. Ruby Bennett, I'm so happy to see you. And side note, I thought Rue's full name was Ruth Ann for a long time until that point, but it shows that Lori's done her homework, like she's planned some of this out. She then starts to manipulate Rue by telling her she's never gotten angry. This adds to the fear factor I was talking about, especially once you know she's a bad person, her calmness adds to the sociopathic element to her character. Lori showing no emotion, yet having such a sinister intention, is exactly the reason everyone in my comment section was going absolutely wild. Not only that, but within that moment, it gives Rue a, a false sense of security that we know isn't true. Lori then starts to explain to Rue that she also used to be an addict a while back. Lori is pretty much attempting to relate to her to gain more of her trust. And this is another element that makes Lori so terrifying. Most people that have a bad experience will do everything in their power to prevent others from having that same experience. It's just a natural thing you would try to do. You try to protect others from going through what you had to go through. This isn't the case with Lori though. Instead, she uses it to her advantage to again try to manipulate people and gain their trust. Near the end of the scene, Lori starts to talk to Rue about like how she's gonna pay for the drugs she used and she already knows that Rue can't pay this. In fact, she knew from the moment she gave Rue that suitcase. This was a plan to use her. And just after, she says something that confirms her goal fully. It's one of the good parts of being a woman. Even if you don't have money, you've still got something people want. She's essentially suggesting that Rue use her body to pay for the drugs she used. And this is because she pretty much wants to use Rue and her human trafficking ring. Going back to why people are so scared of Lori, we must keep in mind that she's saying all of this and drugs Rue with a consistent tone, a polite, calm tone that shows no sign of emotion or reaction or almost anything. There's absolutely no remorse or conflict in her, which is why she's easily the most terrifying character in this show. 